we gave you um, things to help you like navigate your sexuality better because with when, when, when regards to mobility issues, they can suggest um, some sex aids for you to use. Um, with regards to erectile issues, they can give you options. I know we'll get to it, we'll yes, get to we how, so I don't want to like, <laughs> start talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another episode of Touch My Yoni. Today is a very special episode because I have my friend here, Ms. Ami Shika, who is the amazing author of Hot Sex Every Day. It basically covers different ways to spice up your relationship in the bedroom and it even covers sex positions. And why this is extremely important is because today's episode is focusing on sexuality and how spinal cord injury or any other disability for that matter can be affected or can affect your sex life. You guys need to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button um, and hit the notifications bell so that you can be the first to know about when I post videos. Um, we are still on the road to 25k almost almost there guys so please encourage your friends to subscribe too i want to focus on sexuality as a whole um i know sexuality to be the natural desire to bond with others um through affection through love through intimacy um and it can affect so many different things but every single person has it whether you express it explicitly or not for me i'm gonna work with the world health organization definition of sexuality because i understand that sexuality is a central part of who we are as human beings and it relates to sex gender identities and roles it relates to intimacy eroticism pleasure uh, sexual practices sexual functioning and sexual, um, sexual behavior sexual orientation sexuality can be expressed through thoughts values uh, feelings our fantasies our attitudes towards certain um, topics and reproduction also is an important part of sexuality people have different ways of expressing the sexuality but this can obviously be affected if you are injured and what spinal cord injury is is basically when your spinal cord or your nerves are injured or damaged in some way and the spinal cord starts from the base of your brain and goes all the way down to just the beginning of your bum the buttocks um, the thing with the spinal cord is that it's a messaging center the brain controls the activities of the whole body yeah so it, it carries messages from the brain to the other parts of the body so let's say if the part of the spinal cord or the brain that's affected relates to movement of the body or the limbs then you can see that some people with spinal cord injuries cannot move their their legs and uh, also um, the the area of your body below the affected part it's usually um, affected such that you can't move there's no strength no, um, no sensations and you 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 tend to like it can really affect your quali the quality of your life so i have my notebook here because it's such a sensitive topic it's something that's really important so we did a bit of research i need you guys to know that this is just a topic of interest we are not health professionals we're not health practitioners so all of these things need to be discussed with your physiotherapist make sure you have thorough discussions when you are ready to sexually engage there's different ways that you can ensure that you are reaching satisfaction and one I'm thing that pleasure. I'm getting pleasure and one thing that we have agreed on that should be kind of standard across the board is communication yeah communication is so important you need to communicate with your partner so that they are aware of your limitations or your um your fears your, fears, your um your abilities where your levels are at in terms of what you actually can do so they can help work around that you also need to speak to your physician or your um your physiotherapist any uh, health practitioner that you are dealing with because they can help you create programs that are special and unique to your particular injury so another thing that's also really important 
important in ensuring your satisfaction is knowing yourself yeah. like know your body um, like I said obviously know your limitations and what you can or can't do but know exactly where your pleasure lies yes because the thing with the spinal cord injury is that people who have had an injury will tell you that they are since their sensitivity it just changes so you'd have to now go through self-exploration like try to land your body yes it's like a like new experience all over, all again. over again exploring 100%. different parts exploring different stimulation techniques different ways of touching light touches uh soft strokes licking sucking like you if you have a partner then you can go through that with them if they understand and if you are if you're not partnered you go through it alone you try to explore your whole body explore different ways of stimulating every part of your body you might find that a part of your body that was never sensitive in the past in the past would not be sensitive. responding yeah. to stimulation so that way then you're like you you're starting like on a fresh page and you are like letting yourself opening yourself up to sexual to pleasure possibilities. yeah you are not saying that because i got this injury i'm no longer sexual your no. sexual desires are there and you, you can still enjoy sex okay and we will tell you how yeah um but one thing that's also important is obviously talking about sex even if you are not um, affected by spinal cord injury is so hard to do like everybody struggles with talking about sex especially when it comes to expressing your desires or the things that you want or um, things that might be a bit like touchy so one way of doing that is practicing in the mirror have conversations in the mirror where you're you know you are practicing how you're going to bring the topic up to your partner because it is something that i do suggest you speak on quite early on in the relationship so that there are no um surprises halfway through yeah. also that it's not awkward when you actually get to that stage you can also um, practice with your health practitioner you can do role play where you know you're pretending that they are your partner and you're expressing yourselves and your desires um, or your friend or your friend yeah you can actually do it with your friend or a family member that you feel comfortable with as well so just you know learn or practice how to communicate because that will really really make um the the fear of communication almost kind of disappear and that goes for anybody who wants to communicate anything with their partner just practice <laughs> and the thing the thing with spinal cord injury is that because of the the limited mobility you need your partner to understand like your limitations they need to know that in some uh, getting in some sex positions they need to help you move Yes. They either need to carry you or yes. help you move your, your legs. And you need to talk about the signs because the, the thing with the bowel control is that during sex, it, it can happen. You can pass out um, poop. You can pee. Like, and the reason for that is because the, the part that is in, um, the part of your of spinal brain, cord yeah. and your brain that is um, used for mobility and sensation is also um, involved. involved with bowel movement so it there are chances where you could have you know mishaps in the bedroom yeah. but there are ways of avoiding that you could lay out towels prior or um you know a uh, different uh, uh fitted sheets or plastic sheets that are all that are yeah. waterproof that'll help um if you have a catheter or if you have one of those uh, urinal bags um you can either remove it prior or empty it prior to your sexual act as well as afterwards um, but if you don't have a catheter you can actually just go to the toilet go to before, the toilet sex. before and after make sure you urinate make sure you um, pass feces whichever it is that you need to do or that could potentially be affected again you will know because you'll know your body do that prior because that will avoid any kind of embarrassment but also note that no matter how much you prepare, you prepare you could still encounter something that will be completely different to what you expect but your partner should also be aware of that you should know that this is a potential thing that could happen and you don't want and to traumatize somebody okay like you shouldn't be embarrassed about it because it's just what's going on with you it's not your fault that you have that injury and it's just one of the signs associated just that like your partner needs to know so that if it happens you don't like get it so stuck in your head or just withdraw from the whole situations and feel too bad yeah like so that they can support you and you can clean up together yeah yeah 
and especially if you can't clean up for yourself because chances are your partner is going to have to do that cost of your health already 100 but another way to also um kind of avoid the embarrassment that comes with this injury that could potentially come with this injury is to um increase your confidence and your sensuality in the bedroom and this can be really hard like i said if you have a urethral catheter um or if you have um one of those bags because it's not always or one would deem not so sexy but there are ways of working around it you can wear crotchless panties for example if you're a woman or you can wear a negligees um, or if you're a guy you can wear a t-shirt that might cover it or you can even wear a satin sash there's different ways to work around it a shadowing sex helps too because shadowing sex okay. so that like but like before for because of uh, your limitations because you want to be able to use the loo before sex because you want to be able to maybe stretch out your muscles you want to be able to relax and feel good about yourself before the session it's best to like schedule it like, okay we're having sex at six so that you know that okay um right before sex or at 5 30 i am using the loo yes. i am like preparing myself so that i don't feel too uncomfortable i feel confident that oh there won't be uh, so much uh what's the name bowels getting like even if Bowel it happens yeah like it won't be so much so i think we also need to cover a little bit more of how sex is affected for people with spinal cord injury because it can manifest in so many different ways so the thing with spinal cord injury is that it's associated with loss of sensation some people will tell you that after their injury they a part of like maybe if 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 it affected the upper part the the lower part of your body is no longer like sensitive and so you might have erectile difficulties because you're not like i mean you're not feeling any sensations when um your penis is being stroked or stimulated and it can either be lost or just decreased for women it can come with reduced um, lubrication so that i mean knowing that you know that you know how you can work around it with water-based lubricants it can come with ejaculation problems because uh instead of the semen coming out of your u urethral opening you know the whole where the semen comes out of is the urethral which is it, the same place the yeah, urine comes out of it goes into it's forced into the bladder inside the body oh, so you're wow. ejaculating instead of seeing semen it goes inside your body that's a thing that really can be that with. is so crazy yeah. i did not know that it, it can be and it's it, it can it can it can affect you because i mean for so many men they expect to see that to know that yeah i've done I something finished, yeah. yeah so if you don't see it then it's like what's going on mm. but we're not saying that the fact that you you are losing sensations mean that you can't be sexual because there are several erogenous zones scattered all over your body that you can stimulate 100%. so i mean the and that just yeah. goes on to different ways that you can satisfy your partner outside of penetration it doesn't have to be limited to penetration there are different forms of intimacy that you guys can explore through your erogenous zones yeah. there's also different ways of heightening sensation yeah. through for example um music you know the vibration from the music through different smells and tastes that can stimulate um and, and increase your desire um there's different ways visual you know seeing and not seeing yeah. is definitely also another way but also sex toys or sex aids are really really important to introduce into the bedroom try and involve different um aids into the bedroom that sex might heighten furniture. yes sex furniture oh that's so important yes, yes of course you would know tell us <laughs> the thing with sex furniture is that because of the mobility issues and the back pain because um people tend to have so much pain in the back and the neck so the the sex rumps or sex wedges that are designed for you to lie on so when you lie on it it gives you support it gives your oh back my. support they're sex pillows the, the, there's a lot of things you can explore when you go to a sex shop or you check online you can visit liberator.com okay let's not do that now this is something i definitely have to read my notes for because um it's quite an important thing that um we didn't want to leave out but you tell us what autonomic dysreflexia is so the thing with um spinal 
cord injuries is that it has its challenges we just mentioned the bowel control and urinary incontinence yeah. so the autonomic dyspraxia has to do with it's a medical condition that um, relates to it's very serious it relates to your heart rates quickening you get your high your blood pressure um, increasing. increasing to a very very high point that it can actually um, cause stroke it can cause a cardiac arrest it's that That's crazy. serious it can cause seizures so it, it has its signs that when you start noticing it, you need to stop whatever you're doing because that must have triggered it. And when you're having sex, you know how intense orgasms are. You know how intense it can be when you're ejaculating. Mm. That can actually trigger it. So when you start noticing the signs that Lady will mention that you stop the session and until it subsides before you try to explore something else. Another thing that can cause it is full bladder. So that's why it's important to like empty your blood out before the session and hard skin to skin contact can actually it's like a, it's an exactly. overreaction to yeah. stimulation yeah so it literally can come from absolutely anything which yeah. means you have to be able to read the signs and the signs or the symptoms that you can look out for is heavy sweating anxiety a slow heart rate blurry vision dilated pupils goosebumps a stuffy nose or trouble breathing yeah so if you feel any of these in the moment and you feel like your heart rate is beating a little fast or slower um or if you feel like you know you're sweating and you're just struggling to breathe stop your partner will understand because you would have communicated prior yeah and then you can wait until those symptoms kind of subside and die down like Ami said and then you can get back into it it's just about pacing yourselves and taking things slow and not overdoing things that could potentially get you into a worse position than when you started all all in the name of sex so now that we've covered what spinal cord injury is how your sexuality is affected by it and different ways to work around it tell us a bit more about your book hot sex every day yeah so hot sex every day is a book about spicing it up okay this book presents you to you 365 ways to spice things up because monotony and doing the same thing all the time can easily kill the excitement it can make sex feel boring because i mean you're doing the same thing all the time so this book is is broadening it up it's showing you that sex is more than penis in, vag in vagina sex is more than just kissing and playing with the nipples and just penetrating and the clitoris needs to be stimulated there are several erogenous zones all over the body that should be stimulated there are, are senses that can be awakened and engaged during sex playfulness creativity it talks about anything and everything in sex awesome so obviously these sex positions um are also in the book so anyone who is experiencing spinal cord injury or um any injury um or disability for that matter that may affect your sexuality or your sex life you can definitely get ami's book online i'll put all the details in the description box thank you so much for joining us today on baby. today's tribal session if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed please do so and make sure you hit the notifications bell so that you are the first to find out when we're talking about such important topics that's all from me lindy and miss amishika love you guys lots